was sure they uh, you know, were just shopping for whatever house made sense, but in fact, they really were going to buy a blue house, whether they knew it. <laughs> yeah, you remember that guy? Yeah, and, and, and he didn't know it. He and, didn't and, even know and it. I, and I told Paul, I said, he doesn't know it, but he's going to buy a blue house. <laughs> now, and who I didn't thought? point it out to him either. And he bought a blue house. And you know he how hard those are to find? Yeah, there's not that many blue. painted it blue. I know. See, <laughs> I, I see it more with my clients on the other side. It's, I will not buy that house because it's green. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah right. And you're like, well, it can be painted. So. Yeah, you can paint it. Yeah. No, but let's talk subjective. I mean, you've seen, like, uh, what do people love about newer construction these days? You've got a client you're working with looking for newer construction, right? What? Why do people think, do you think, like newer construction? I mean, the first thing that comes to mind, it's it's tailored to them. Mm-hmm. No one's ever lived in it before. It's their taste, not what somebody else right. has done yes. or that they need to change. Um, you know, the, the updates are automatic on new construction, whereas you may have to do them yourself. Um, you know, I mentioned the finishing touches. It, it, usually if it's new construction, all the homes are new construction. So it's not like you have a, a newer construction here and something's updated next door or someone's not updated. They're all on the same sort of level yeah. to, uh-huh. to yeah. start with. The styles are different too. If it's, you know, a newer one as opposed to maybe an old clo- style colonial or something. And a lot of times those are coming with a home warranty too from the builder. Right. So, oh, you yeah. know, they think, you know, I don't necessarily have to worry about anything when I move well, into and, and I'll tell you just a couple between old and new too. You know, the floor plans are open. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. just which practice, is what everybody wants. Which is what everybody wants. There's enough plugs in the house. You ever go in these old houses and where are all the plugs, right? Yes. We got to plug one stuff in. There's one cable jack in the yep. whole entire There's place. There's one cable jack, right? <laughs> and they had to add that. Right. And, uh, and then, you know, how big is the closet, right? Yes. In the old days, I, I guess we didn't have as much stuff in the old days, right? It must now, have been a lot less stuff. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, or we were, yeah, I don't know. And how tall is the basement? Yes. Right. Finished basements are a <laughs> yes. big deal, right? The, the newer construction they build. And yeah. you're not a short guy. I'm not a short I, I have ducked in. I, it's it's habit now for me. Whenever I go to a basement, I duck. I walk hunched over because I'm going to miss the duct that is, you know I don't really see. And I'm going to get that dent across my yeah. you know top of my head. Now or, it's it's pretty standard. They yeah. all have premium elevation. Like yeah. a minimum nine of feet. 10 or yeah, nine, yeah, 10, 10 feet, foot or yeah. so. Yeah, so, I've yeah. limboed my way into a lot of basements. Absolutely. <laughs> but Sarah, I know you guys in your own personal life, you both a house on purpose because it wasn't all updated right well my husband and i are um extremist diyers there you go do it (laughs) yourself i'm proud to admit that Uh, but no we're we're both very into redoing things and um, much like the new construction if we could have afforded it at the time we may have gone that route but we we wanted to be able to do it ourselves the way we wanted it so the home we bought was a cosmetic fixer upper but the roof was new you right. know, the hot water tank was new. Like the big stuff was new. So mm-hmm. um, we're still plugging away at it. And that six kitchen... years later, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we're doing our kitchen right now. God bless you. Keep plugging um, away. One day that kitchen will be done. It will. <laughs> Folks, you're listening to Michigan Real Talk. We're talking with Sarah DeHunt from Brookview Realty, Thomas Holmes from Keller Williams, Andre Salami with Red Door Realty. And we're talking about what goes into making a great choice for you when you're looking to buy a home. And you may have some ideas of your own. Check out the Michigan Real Talk Facebook page. We're going to post a lot of this interview, and you'll be able to even comment or interact and just, you know help us understand what makes for a good choice when buying a home. Is it all the objective things, the money, the time to travel from work, the school districts? or What are the subjective things? We'll be back to talk some more about what people are actually you know enjoying in these days. You're listening to Michigan Real Talk.